Hello everybody, hello and welcome. Welcome to a pretty decent day actually. It's not too bad, it's about 9, 10 degrees. It's a bit warmer than it has been recently. And today we're going to head out, well I am heading out, on the um, the old railway lines. The old disused railway lines. And I'm going to head around to somewhere I haven't been since, I think it was last year I went out that way and that was up a bishop walking way. It's just a bit different. One of the reasons I haven't gone over that way for is because yeah, just, just down here actually, not far down this track you go up a really steep hill um, something like 20% in places and as you may know my knee hasn't been very good recently so I've been avoiding really steep hills there's still a few hills on here anyway but this one's a really steep one so I've been a bit like because <laughs> my knee's not too bad actually but it's not 100% so I'm still kind of wary of it still kind of nursing if you like so we'll see how we'll go eh We'll see how we'll go. But uh, yeah, going up the other side of the valley this time rather than going that way, I'm going to go that way. <laughs> and uh, head round up through uh, Bransmith and Meadowfield and places like that. Over towards the Bishop Walton Way. So yeah, if I if I do that, it's about 30 miles. If I do a little bit extra, which I might, I don't know, see how I feel. It's 35 miles, so we'll see how we'll get on. But yes, yeah, good day today. It's been a bit mizzling this morning a little bit, but quite mild for this time of year, so. It's all good, it's all good. Well, I did it. My knee's all right. <laughs> Didn't get any easier that hill though. Oh, quite the hill that is. Quite the hill. I'd say it's been a while since the last went up. It's a while since it was last on this side of the valley, really. I mean, years ago I used to go from there all the time, but recently I haven't been coming down so much. But yeah, quite the hill. <laughs> Langley Mill way, leading up to Meadowfield. So Langley Mill down the bottom there, and Meadowfield further up. My parents used to have Meadowfield actually, years and years ago, when they first married. My grandma lived there as well. Yeah. So this route here is kind of slightly uphill all the way really. And then obviously slightly downhill on the way back, which would be nice. You can see the crops starting to come out there in the field. Sign of spring here. Eh? I'm surprised anything's grown actually with the amount of rain we've had. Surprised there's no just rotted away. So I'm coming up to Brandsmith Village now, which is gonna cross over the road here. And down the left is well all this street actually is all Brandsmith Village. Very nice, very posh place, Brandsmith. I'll go through there on my road bike actually in the summer. When I come this way, as soon as I come this road here as well, this one here. I've come there a couple of times. I'm going up to the right, up a rather large hill. For today, we're heading this way. And a little bit further up here, I cross over another road, which is uh, a route I quite often do in the summer on my road bike. It's one of my favourite routes actually. It's a busy road, very busy road, but it's a good route. So this is the road I go up in the summer, head up that way. It's a good route actually. But you get very, very busy, very, very busy. But yep, yeah, today we're heading this way. Bishop, Brandon and Bishop Auckland way. End up that way, so no roads today, thankfully. Thank you. 
problems I found with this mud guard is there's not much clearance between the wheel and the mud guard and I get loads of dirt in there you know, I don't even hear it but like like a train can't hear it now but if you look loads of dirt in there got to clear it out I'm constantly clear it out someone's got to get a stick in there and rake away I mean I don't think it's the mud guards but it's fault you know it's just the case of where they're jumping with the bike you know the how close the uh, the brakes are and the uh, the shocks I should say to the to the wheel and stuff but yeah it kind of drags on the wheel it's like got brakes on all the time we're down here we've got a Willy Wonka factory I've showed you this before in the past but it's well kill it's a really really old factory but it reminds me of some kind of Willy Wonka factory How cool is that? Fantastic. I think it makes some kind of thermal insulation or something like that, I think it is. Or something got to use in thermal insulation. I'll take what you want in the factory, I think. So I'm heading down towards Willington area. And I just go across the road basically in Willington, Willington. Cross over, head through like a housing estate, and then onwards towards Bishop. How far to go now, really, don't they? Oh, Blossom, look, Blossom. Blossom's out. Springs are on the way. Fantastic. Fantastic. It does feel a bit spring like it actually with this, with this mild weather that we've got. I know it's overcast and a bit there, but it is quite warm. I was debating putting my spring clothes on actually, like my orange jacket and my thinner leggings on and stuff, but I kind of chickened out when I came out. I don't know if I dare. Plus it was raining a bit and this top's waterproof, I mean the orange ones are really waterproof so I'll put this back on but but yeah warmer weather is on the way isn't it great isn't it great this is obviously an old station house but how smart is this it's very pretty look at that very pretty very pretty now all these station houses are aren't they obviously you've got to put up with people going past your front door on bikes and walkers and things but if yeah, there's tracks like this next to them but they always be very smart very well made so I am on the last leg now after Willington heading towards Bishop Auckland So, not far off Bishwalkland, it's just across there to the house in the distance. I'm not going to go into Bishwalkland because it's like a, a narrow bridge across. Not a narrow bridge, it's a big wide road bridge, but the path's quite narrow. If anybody else is walking across, it just makes a bit of a pain. So, just to go a few, 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 few more yards is not worth it. So, I'm stuck next to Kinron. If you haven't been to Kinron, go. It is brilliant, absolutely brilliant. It's basically. Yeah, Knights and horses, Vikings, Romans, all out in an open amphitheater outside. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. So I'm gonna stop here, five minute rest, and then we're gonna head back down the track again. I've just came past actually a load of rubbish. So obviously somebody's dropped from the top there. Piles and piles of rubbish that the you know fly tipping. I can't stand it. Really annoys me when people do that. Really annoys me. But yeah, a little bit of rest and uh head back down through the valley again.
When I was coming back along the other side of the valley there, I um, came past two lads um, with dogs and basically sitting fighting to the side of the, the bushes at the side. Absolute idiots. Went past, I thought, what are they doing? So I stopped. But what are you doing? I was cold. <laughs> Absolute morons. But yeah, seems to be the thing to do around here, I think. The lines are a, a tempting thing for people, for kids to come along and set fires without many people seeing them. Uh, was it last year, the year before me and Katie were out walking? Uh, and we came across, well, saw some kids go past us first. Thought nothing of it. Uh, a few hundred yards down the line, it was a uh, big area, was the light, the grass and everything. Because it was in the middle of the summer, that one, that time. So obviously burned very easy. So we had to find the fabric gear for that as well. But the fabric gear was quite surprised because they didn't have anything to come up on the lines with, if you like, along tracks like this. They had like a Land Rover eh, that they came out in because I knew where it was at, you know, I told them what was on the lines. But they had to park like a good half a mile away and carry all the equipment. I said, you know, you should have quads or something, really. He was like, yeah, it's a good idea. <laughs> you recommend that to everybody who have quads. But really, you know what I mean? For like terrain like this, but you kind of get like a Land Rover down very easily. You know, they think they'd have something like that, wouldn't you? Like a, some kind of cord or something. So I've done just over 26 miles there. And by the time I get back home, it's going to be something like about 28 miles by the time I get back. I decided not to do the extra bit that I was going to do. I was debating doing another five miles, but I thought I've done a few extra hills today. Some big hills that I haven't done in a while. So I thought I don't want to push my luck. I don't want to push my luck with my knee. My knee's been okay up to now, but touch wood, I've only got a few miles to go, so hopefully it'll be all right, but I didn't want to, you know, push my luck going further. And I had a wedding the other day, a couple of days back, and when you do a wedding, you, yeah, all day wedding, you yeah, shot it. You're on your feet all day long, you never stop. And our legs, me and Katie were both absolutely shattered on the night and the next day. You'd be surprised how tiring it is. But it's been a good ride. Of course, we've had a little bit of rain. Couldn't get away without some rain, could we? In fact, I had hail at one point. A few hills there, a little bit of a hill shower, which is weird, because it's still seeing eight, eight degrees, so I don't know where that came from. Which is very short, you know, it's only a few minutes long. And the rain, the showers have just been a few minutes long, but of course you've got to have rain, haven't you? Can't be, can't be going out without rain. But I've enjoyed it. And it's nice to be out when it's a bit milder for a change. And a different route that I haven't done for a little while. So as always, thank you very much for joining us. TK cells out there. If you haven't done so, subscribe to the channel. It helps it a lot and, and give it a thumbs up as well. Give it a thumbs up and let, you, let YouTube know that you like the videos. Because YouTube like that. <laughs> anyway, take care yourselves and I'll see you all later. Bye bye.